Hi everyone. So this time I am coming up with an interesting breakdown and as you can see on the screen it's a masking effect but its text or stories is a bit different when you hover on it. So you can achieve that uh, on our framer website as well like as you can see. So when I hovering over our text it's telling a different story as you can see here right so it's really simple and easy it don't take you more than two minutes to apply that so let's break down this so this is our desktop version and these are primary version of artboard and uh, you can see i enabled the layout you can see there are two sections overlapping each other so uh let's break down first one so this is our mask section and here you can see uh we have a text and the text color is black and the background color is uh, this one so this one will be on our top layer and the bottom layer will be this one but i have just duplicated this and uh, name it stack and change the background to transparent and text is uh, white as you can see here because our background color is black on that second section let me show you this let's hide this so this one is our background section uh, let me show you like how you can achieve that so i applied absolute for both and keep that on top by uh, pointing zero on top position and Keep the width section 100% relative and height is 100 VH so it will cover the whole things so it will look something like this right. You can do it the way you want it's up to you but you need to keep that in mind both of your text should be on top of each other as you can see. So let's break down our code so I am using two codes here. First one is masking.tsx. The second one is you can see it's use mouse position.jsx. So you need to keep that in mind. The second file is .jsx, right? So let's focus on the first one. You need to copy and paste that. I'm providing you the link so you can copy that directly and name it masking.tsx. And the second one should be look like this. I uh, use mouse position.jsx like how you can create a jsx file you just need to name it like shams.jsx and create the file you can see our .jsx file has created right so that's how you can create your .jsx file here so let's apply this so you need to apply this on top of the first layer right this one so let's scroll down a bit you need to select code override section and select masking and choose uh, with mask frame override and for the text you need to select uh, h1 tag and for the code override section select masking and override should be with mask hover and that's it i hope you understand the breakdown if you have any confusion you can comment below and i will do my best to assist so have a good time. Bye.